Hello, everybody. Just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great day tomorrow with your family or your friends or by yourself or whatever you're doing. I uh, wanted to show off the shirt that I got back a while ago. Make Christmas great again. I thought that was funny. I got that off Amazon. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm probably just going to spend the day with my mom. That's what I want to do. I got her a gift that's going to take me a while to put together. And then probably just watch some movies with her or something to spend some time together. And uh, that'll be good for me. So, And I'll just enjoy not having to work tomorrow, which, you know, I've worked for almost this whole month every single day. So, <laughs> but nothing tomorrow. And uh, I'm probably going to be done with UPS now for the season. Uh, hard to tell him, but probably so. So I'll start having free time again to do more studies and everything and looking forward to that and uh, I was hoping to hang out with my cousin and do some stuff tonight and those plans didn't really go as I was hoping so I'm just kind of by myself tonight I'm sure there's a lot of pe other people that are and you know a lot of people that are in bad situations uh, for this Christmas season and so my prayers go out to them but also, I thought I'd share this book that I just got today that a brother donated to me because I was interested in the atonement and I was interested in this Anselm guy's interpretation of it. And so this was on Amazon. It's his complete philosophical and theological treat, <laughs> treat, treatises, treatises. I don't know how you pronounce that, but this book is thick and I wasn't expecting it to be that thick, but it's good though because there's a lot in here. And I mean, he has stuff on the atonement, on you know, on the Trinity, on uh, original sin, just everything, the fall of the devil, it's all kinds of stuff. And whenever I just skim through here and just start reading, it's it's just really interesting. He has. A, I was looking through the uh, section on original sin and and. The sin of infants, and I think that his view is that uh, basically that infants aren't innocent, and they could be condemned as adults, which is kind of controversial, but it's interesting. He views sin as like a debt, like we're robbing God of his glory. Uh, our sin is robbing God of his glory, basically, and so we're in debt to God. And I think one of his uh, reasons biblically for that is like the Lord's Prayer when Jesus says, Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And that kind of equates, you know, sin with debt. And um, so I seem to agree with some of his stuff, but you know, some of his stuff's going to be controversial. And I think that he was kind of like a Catholic or, you know, the Catholics use some of his teachings. So I just got to be careful when I when I read through here. That hopefully, you know, it doesn't mess me up doctrinally in any way, but it's, it's definitely providing some different views and stuff that I haven't really seen or thought of. Um, just looking at some of the stuff on Original Sin, like chapter 22, it says the magnitude of Original Sin. And then chapter 23, it says why and how sin is transmitted to infants. That goes on for quite a few pages. Chapter 24, the sins of ancestors after Adam are not reckoned in the original sin of their descendants. And then how the sins of ancestors harm the souls of their descendants. This is just all interesting stuff. And he just goes on and, and explains in his views. So I'll be sharing this in the future. And... Uh, I also got this other book, The Nature of the Atonement, which is pretty interesting too, and I've been looking through that. It has like four different views of the atonement. Uh, let's see. It has the um, penal substitution view, which is the popular one that I've come out against, which uh, is surprising to me that I've always been okay with that until recently, and... You know, so it's still that I'm still finding out that doctrines that I believe that I'm not agreeing with. But it also talks about the Christ as Victor theory of atonement, which was one of the main popular ones before the penal substitution 
and then uh, a healing atonement theory, which I, I don't really know much about that one yet. I didn't really look at that one that much. And then there's a, a colitis, kaleidoscopic view, or kaleidoscopic or whatever. You know, like a kaleidoscope where you look in it and you turn it and you see, you know, different designs as you turn it or whatever. And uh, so that's that view says that there's so much that happened in the atonement that we have to like take it piece by piece and we look at different aspects of it. And it's hard to just summarize it in like one theory, which the kaleidoscopic view is, is pretty interesting. I think there's a lot of truth in that. And uh, there's probably a little bit of truth in each of these, but the penal substitutionary atonement, I think, goes into error. And so a brother that donated me these also got another atonement book coming that I'm looking forward to. That's supposed to be really uh, scholarly and really detailed as well. So that's going to help uh, learn a lot of different stuff about the atonement, which I'm really interested in. So I'm looking forward to, in January, getting time off and going, you know, uh, redoing the website and working on the studies. So anyways, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and maybe tomorrow I'll upload some videos or something with my phone, but uh, I'm going to be spending the day with my mom, mostly. So uh, have a good one. God bless, guys.